So next we have consider reaffirmation of the 2007 master plan update as recommended by the planning commission and we have patty volker i think the wing stop oh did i skip wing stop i'm sorry <laughs> i consider approval oh, of a one. site plan and special land use request for wing stop I just like you. andrea <laughs> here tonight. hello we talked about it out there i thought we'd already talked i'm just going to pull up my powerpoint here give you a quick overview of the proposal this evening um, my name is Andrea Bibby. Most of you are familiar with me <laughs> from the planning division here at the township. Um, so what you have before you this evening is a request um, for a special land use. Um, any businesses within Bloomfield Township that um, seek to operate before 7 a.m. and after 9 p.m. Um, do have to apply for special land use. So this for this evening uh, at 1981 Telegraph, which you can see an aerial um, up on your screen there. This is in the, um, the Village at Bloomfield development, which um, most of you, I'm sure all of you are very familiar with. Um, this was this um, wing stop which is the the store that is seeking extended hours of operation is located within the portion that um, lies within entirely within Bloomfield Township so it is within the strip center um, that is located just in front of the Henry Ford um, and the address is 1981 South Telegraph um, so up on your screen, uh, you can see the property zoning. The zoning classification for the property is zoned B3 general business. Um, and within, as I stated, uh, any businesses seeking to operate beyond the regular hours has to come before you for um, consideration. The request this evening for on behalf of Wingstop is to operate from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., or I'm sorry, 12 a.m. Um, daily. Um, so in reviewing the, the proposal, as I stated, um, up on the screen, you can see the, the zoning is the B3 classification. Um, this is a, uh, the uh, site plan, uh, over, uh, giving you an overview of the um, development, the Village of Bloomfield development. Um, surrounding the wing stop is Menards. There is a Planet Fitness, Hampton Inn and Suites. Um, and then also there is um, the uh, multifamily uh, residential development as well. They're located um, immediately adjacent to the site. So with this proposal, there are no uh, changes to the site itself. The ingress and egress to the site would remain as it is from Telegraph Road. Um, there are no other um, site improvements or changes regarding parking, landscaping, um, or anything else. This is solely just for the hours of operation. They are currently open and operating. Um, so just, uh, we have provided for your um, um, clarification, some uh, other businesses that are located north of Square Lake within the same um, corridor, if you will, as the wing stop. And um, historically, there have been a few that have been granted extended hours of operation, including um, the shops within Bloomfield Place, which is across the street, which has the Chipotle, the Potbelly, and Starbucks. Um, they were granted hours um, extending to 10 p.m. Um, as well as there is uh, the Roadside Bar and Grill and Fifth Tavern, which are all also located within the vicinity. Those are, um, they were given approval to close at 11 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. And then we also have Nippon Sushi up in that area as well that was approved to operate until 10 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Um, so I just wanted to provide a little bit of, of the business variety that does occur north of Square Lake just to kind of give you an idea. Um, according to Wingstop um, and their representation, they indicate that the operational impact of the improved, of the extended hours um, would improve their business and help them because they um, have indicated that approximately 20% of their daily sales occur between 9 p.m. and midnight. Um, they are strictly a carry out only establishment. Um, we do have representation here from Wingstop so he can answer questions as it relates to the operation. But it is solely a um, pickup only. And if there's any deliveries that occur, it's not sponsored by Wingstop Stop themselves, but a similar like a Uber Eats or DoorDash, they do pick up and um, deliver 
um, using going into Wingstop. Um, the lobby area of the Wingstop is approximately 112 square feet, so it's a very small lobby. Um, wouldn't it wouldn't account for or allow for eating in um, establishments. Um, we don't feel that in our review that extending the hours of operation till midnight would not negatively impact or modify the existing vehicular or pedestrian traffic patterns. Um, they do have ample parking for the uses. Um, and then also for consideration for special land use um, is any noise or odor or aesthetics or lighting impacts on adjacent properties. And um, there are no changes to noise, odor, aesthetics, or lighting to the adjacent properties. Um, this has been had an opportunity to be reviewed by our design review board on September 21st, 2022, and you can see the motion which is contained within your packet. Um, it did the motion did carry uh, two to one to forward it on to the planning commission. Then the planning commission had an opportunity to re review this and did um, make a motion to forward it on positively to the uh, township board for consideration. So for this evening, the request specifically before you is to consider um, allowing for Wingstop to operate from 11 a.m. to midnight <coughs> daily. And with that, I'm happy to answer any questions. It's rather straightforward. But again, we also do have a representative here for Wingstop as well. I will start by just saying that I was the one that voted no, but I always look into things. Mm -hmm. um, I voted no because my immediate response is never midnight near residence. So we did have the joy of being in that hotel for a few weeks because of my house being repaired. So I went over to those resident areas and it is not, it's far enough away. It's super, it, it, it wasn't, my concerns weren't as, uh, as valid because it wasn't up against the residence. Whereas in the pictures, it seems like they would hear it. So I did do my due diligence, and I am no longer against. It. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thanks for saying that, and thank you very much for the uh, presentation. So yeah. I'm Ryan, uh, and I'm the development director and real estate director for Wing It North, and we operate 24 restaurants uh, throughout Southeast Michigan and Northern Ohio. Uh, DBA Wingstop. Uh, we also have a couple other restaurants that we do. So we've, we've done this and I'm here strictly to answer questions and whatever you guys, whatever you guys, whatever you guys want. So, so. I just have a couple of questions. I'm yeah. really familiar with that place. We're kind of five guys addicts and you go oh. up there for dinner and you know, there's the Comcast place is closed and there's ample parking. I can see exactly what you're saying, how it's not an issue. The only question I have is that all the other ones that have the extended hours, it's not seven days a week. So I didn't know if you consider till 11 p.m. or like Sunday night. Like, does it have to be midnight every night? We, I, I, I know, just a question. No, 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 I appreciate it. And that's what I like to do. I'll answer all your questions. And uh, we are, <clears throat> I don't know if you want to say, you know, kind of that, you know, late night, you know, cheat meal or, like or something Bell kind of a snack, but, but we're also, <laughs> we're extremely uh, sports and uh, event related. So you take Monday night football. So we can't, we, we can't take Monday out of the equation. Monday night football is really big for us. And now they have Thursday night football in colleges play you know uh, late night on saturdays and so it's every day that there's something and high school you know high school football is big and by the time that game's over if we're closed at nine you can't we're we're done they can't get out of there by that so we're very uh driven by not only athletics but also you know theater events uh within the community and we have no idea when those are. They're not, you know, it's not, you know, Bloomfield only does stuff on Wednesdays, you know, so we can be closed every other night. It's not. You it's don't have a like night that. that's just so quiet. No, that you it's, a, it's, you know, it's, that's the reason for the seven days a week. So and the, people get used to it. So if they go there, you know, on a Saturday and then they try to do it on a, you know, Monday night football, and we're not open it's it, it's 
Yeah, it, it, it's across the country. That's so the only other question a, I have is in the packet, and you're Ryan, so this was something that I guess came from you in the packet. Oh. Um, I know you don't, it's, it says you don't do um, dine-in, you don't do specific, your own delivery, you don't have drive-through, but it, there's a statement that's quoted, they are a carry-out location only operation with very little walk-ins. What does that mean? How can you have very little walk-ins when it's all carry-out? <laughs> I didn't understand the comment. Maybe it's carry a typo. out delivery, and, and, and I didn't actually maybe write it. So <laughs> maybe it was missed, but it says I, very little walk-ins, and I'm thinking uh, very little walk-ins, meaning most frequent. of it's delivery. Most of our business is delivery: phone in, online, uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats. They deliver most of it. A, very, very limited is actually pulling up, walking in ordering it and then waiting for 20 minutes. We make everything fresh. So our wings are gonna take 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, no matter whether we're busy or not, it's just how long it takes to cook chicken. Um, so we have, we don't have, and we don't rely necessarily on the walk-in. And so the walk-in is, it's so mostly walk -in, delivery, you ordering. Order it there? Now the walk-in will be, if they order it, okay. they can walk in grab their order and leave, but it's not walking in and ordering. Okay, so. thank you for the clarification. Yeah. Uh, I have a couple questions and a comment. Um, first, so this is a franchise business. Now right. this is an international thing, okay. And uh, Andrea, um, if we approve the special land use, that applies only to this business, correct? Correct. It's, it wouldn't, if they were to move out, that space couldn't be leased with the same special land use provision without coming back to the board. That is correct. Any other business that would be looking to occupy that space and having, if they did have a request for extended hours, they would absolutely have to come back to the township board. Okay. Uh, and, and my comment is, um, and I'm sorry, I, I missed your name here. Uh, okay. Ryan? Ryan. Yeah. I'm just impressed because everybody is struggling to hire right now how you would staff <laughs> from 11 a.m. to midnight every single day. I mean, you see all the fast food businesses cutting their hours because they can't hire people. So that's not a question. I'm not gonna, I, <clears throat> if you stick around, I'd love to hear what, what you're doing differently <laughs> than everybody else. But um, I just, I, I, I think that's impressive. So, uh, right. well, if you don't want me to answer it, I won't, but I, I mean, we can talk I, about I'd it. be glad to right I now. I know, it's okay, we don't need to. So if it, if it makes you feel bad, all these are the questions that I had too. Um, and I will promise you that the ones that are saying they're open to midnight often aren't because they don't have the people even coming in. Like Planet Fitness closes at 6, 7 o'clock some nights, 10 o'clock at the right. latest. Because, again, we lived right there for, for weeks. Yeah. The latest I ever saw Planet Fitness, which is supposed to be 24 hours, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Most nights, 8 o'clock. Right, and I don't want to, I mean. Correct. Like, we might give you to midnight. It'll be great if you're the first one to make it there. <laughs> But in that well, complex, even better. give us a challenge. It was the uh, quietest perfect. complex yeah. I've ever lived in, which yeah. is also why I was very protective of it when I heard they wanted midnight. Because I'm like, yeah. wait a minute, people who are there, this is really quiet. Yeah. But then again, you feel bad for the people working in that in the places where they do need to. Yeah. Like one of the officers yeah. begged. Well, I mean, I have, I <laughs> and Menards is the same way. So so I, I, part of You're my right. what I do, steal. I go there and I look at stuff at night. I actually have to go to. Northville uh, after this and look at it at night. And I look at this area and Menards may close at a certain time. There's activity all around. The uh, the apartment complex over there, call it more garden because it's, it's really nice. There are people in and out all the time. I don't know if they're going to, to work, from work, going to the airport, flying, uh, young professionals. There's, there's activity over there. Um, all the time, and that's the reason we chose this particular location in Bloomfield, is because number one, Telegraph, it's a highway. You know, it's not you know, sleepy Lakeshore Drive. You know, it, it's not. It, it's it, it's a it's a highway, yeah. and there's activity all the time. And I I have stayed out there. In uh, in my car and watch the activity around there, uh, from 9 a.m. to midnight, and see it. And and that's one of the things I like because there it, it's it's vibrant. It's not you know crazy 
packed, but uh, there is people coming in and out. And we're not the only, you know, we're not the only people there with a, with a light on. It's, right. It's, well, the IHOP supposedly is open right, till midnight. Right. They're not. Only on Again, the weekend. We just, tried getting food after 8 o'clock almost every yeah, night. Yeah. And um, what was the... They used to be 24 hours. They're open till 9. Yeah. They used to be 24 yeah. hours? So. no, they still list themselves on Google. Do not ever trust Google. We have learned yeah, our lesson yeah. so many times. Uh, you will show up to many closed yeah. businesses. Well... So that's uh, what... The, uh, the only reason why I was... Why I but, changed from a no to a yes is... It's carry out only. Yeah. If it was sit down, if it was uh, that, would be a lot yeah, of cars. Yeah. And no, no but, yeah, alcohol. Not, no alcohol. Yeah. And then we, no alcohol. We, no alcohol. No driving drunk. Totally no carry out. And to answer yeah. your question, super fast about uh, yeah, our business fine. model. We own 24 okay. and operate 24. 23 of them are open until midnight. <laughs> this one's not, and hopefully, maybe after today, it will be. We hire people based on the shifts, and people are expected to work until midnight. So if they, they have a shift, it may be 8 to midnight because they might have something to do. They may have kids they have to take care of during the day. So the later night shifts are actually good for a lot of people. So we don't have, you know, we're not hiring more than other people can. We just are able to space them out a little bit more and give the, you know, the moms or dads or whoever it is, you know, an opportunity maybe at night. And that's kind of how we do it. And so this one now being open till midnight, we've already hired people based on midnight. That's just uh -huh. what we do. This was Great. somewhat of a surprise. Well, well thank you. No, thank you for that. Um, well. In light of the fact that you've already hired for people for it, <laughs> I say they're not working till midnight without uh, approval, right? We want those people to, to to get what they expected and you to get your expected. So I'm going to make a motion to approve. Just one last thing for we you. Have a public hearing. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to have a public hearing. Yeah, it wasn't listed as a public hearing. Is this a public hearing? Yes. Okay. Sure. Okay. I sorry. didn't know. Do we normally have a public for hearing? special land use? Yes. Okay. So, is there anyone for the public that would like to speak on this? I mean, anyway? I assume it was noticed, right? It was properly noticed as a public okay. hearing. Since this is a public hearing, we have a special, again, where the public can talk. No? Then I will close the public comment. And then I just had one quick comment, too. Mm -hmm. So, God, thanks for, for catching that and we'll have the, to have the public hearing, because it was properly noticed, by the way, as indicated yeah. for that, and timely. Um, but uh, as uh, Supervisor Walsh was mentioning, and we, we talked a lot at the, the DRB about this, and you know that cons consistency is really important to me, and I think most people. And and um, um, you know, if this were at a place that's surrounded by residential neighborhoods, it would you know I vote differently than I'm going to vote tonight, as you know Supervisor Walsh indicated, um, and you know she will as, would as well. And um, you know this is. This is definitely the retail business area of, of the township. Um, we sent the notice out within a 500 you know, feet radius like we do with everything, and it doesn't touch any residential areas. Um, and it may just nip the very corner of where the apartments are, but barely if that. Um, so it, it has my support. Um, it, it's in line with the other uh, retail restaurant businesses in this district. And uh, so I think we're treating you know, apples like apples. And Thank you. So. Yeah, if I would have heard noise over there, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't have switched my vote. Did you go and stop, have any? <laughs> did you pop in and get some wings? Did, did you not. try them? No. I did not. They're really good. I felt no. like I would sway my vote, and I was oh. trying to say, so I did well, not. I'm telling you, I, I've changed my opinion on you. You guys see the no, nice yeah. one now. He got to see the tough one at DRV. Yeah, yeah, so. I was like, absolutely uh, not. Well, you know, I think about, um, <laughs> Having raised three kids, you know, like on their way home from their friends or a, a game or, like you said, or a movie or something, my son was big on going through the Taco Bell drive through because it was all that was open that late. Or occasionally, I guess, a McDonald's would be open late. But I would think the apartment complex might mm -hmm. actually like, I, I don't know, but they might appreciate something that is open later because there really isn't a lot in between. Well, Businesses not having enough staff, they close early, and we've seen that more than anybody staying open too late. And so we good actually, for you if you can do it. When we're, uh, when we're open and about to close, we get a lot of the hospital staff that are search, uh, switching shifts yes. that actually come in and are disappointed 
that they can't do it and Menard kind of the same way so it's not only you know for that but it's also for the shift workers and you know people that are out you know working beyond the nine to five well, so I mean, the bulk of your business, or if I understand you correctly, is delivery. Yeah. And you go on DoorDash at nine thirty or ten o'clock at night. And nothing's available. Then nothing's available. Right. So but I know I've tried. <laughs> well, but I mean, he, he, that's a problem. Yeah. So. And you have some complexes like this where you would literally have people backed up right to it. You know, when you think about like a Maple and Telegraph right. or something. This is the Different one story. area of the township that there truly is no resident affected. You know, there's another business that's trying to get midnight that I'm going to vote no on because I stood outside and I'll absolutely hear it. But this is the one spot that seems like the utopian area for this. Why we picked Why it. you so, chose it? I, I'm going to take that. <laughs> I, I'm going to take that as a compliment because I do select the uh, locations. So. Yeah. No, we looked at a lot of this places. This time you choose wisely. <laughs> yeah, you choose this wisely. Was, this is. <laughs> This is the area that we thought it would it would work. So okay. So, anyway. so I'm going to make a motion to approve the site plan and special land use request for wing stop as presented. Motion by Trustee Shostak. Support. Support by Trustee Fakie. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed. Great. Thank you. Can I ask one more question? <laughs> you already sure. got what you Don't want. Your wings. <laughs> <laughs> Can I open till midnight tonight? Oh. <laughs> You've been What's the process? Ask Andrea. Been granted approval. Yeah. It is. So we're good to go. So you guys can go get wings after. Yeah, I was going to say you have people. <laughs> <laughs> you have people that will work for mid till midnight hey, tonight. So to my to question, question to you was: uh, Are there people working there right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make the wings okay. tomorrow. Uh, but tomorrow or uh, the yeah. next day. But yeah, it's effective. Me, I'll talk to you. No, you're all approved. That was a good question, though. That is a good question. Yeah. <laughs> I would be more worried that he had people there ready to work at midnight. Thank you. These guys approved it. Correct. These guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you're here. I was tough yes, on him at that meeting. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> right? He hey, was like, oh, no. Open tonight said. till midnight. We should have uh, had a little field ahead. trip and go it. check it out and see. Like, when were you hired to work till midnight? Do you own the one at Wayne State, Ryan? Do you own the one at Wayne State? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I used to go there a lot. <laughs> I lost all control of this meeting. Okay, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> I lost all control. <laughs> all right. Sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you. <laughs>